Hey folks, George the DJ here. Today uh, I want to show you a video on some cases that I've been using for several years now. They're called the uh, Casematic Cases. You can see that? It's a little hard to see, right? But anyway, um, I use these for several different things. Um, this one right here in the middle I actually use, so if I can turn it around here. This one in the middle here, I actually use to keep my Airstream bridge in. I've got everything already pre-wired and a way to uh, put this in. And I even got my air antennas and stuff. For my wireless transmitters and receivers this one over here it's just some um little wireless mic packs i have this is probably one of my first ones and i don't use this very often but i do have a couple wireless mics wireless mic receivers um and then of course some batter spare batteries and in this case well this is the one going to do today and this is a brand new case uh, it asked me how does your new product make you feel mm, pretty good I guess I don't know. so it's pretty simple but you can see the perforated foam and what you're going to end up doing like over here is breaking the foam out until you have all the slots of where you want everything and then it doesn't move around and get damaged in transport I got mine off of Amazon so I'm gonna show you quickly uh, how to make one of these work and fit your product. So today, um, what I'm going to try to do is take this little AKG wireless uh, lapel mic system and put it in my casematic case. I love when they have the little stickers on there so I can put it on the outside. And tell what it is from a distance. If not, I just make my own label as you can see. But that's cool. I like that. So obviously we gotta make room in the case for the main receiver, which will be plugged into whatever system we're using it in. The belt pack. The actual mic and the cord. And as you've seen, I like when things come with batteries. I don't know why. That makes me happy. Got to have a little place for a, a battery and some spare batteries. And then, got to have a place for my power supply. So one of the things I've learned uh, to save on space is to turn things on its side. All the little perforations can break out or you can design however you want. Not so bad if you only leave one little row of perforations on the edge, but between other items you want at least two rows left. And then you get it as deep as you want, and then you can turn pieces on the side to make it raise up. So like that little antenna part, it won't be as deep down as the base of that uh, transmitter. So I'm gonna break off and do the big part first. Now directions will tell you to mark this with a marker and then flip it over so you don't see the markings. But I usually just place it where I want and start breaking it off. A little bit here. I think I'm gonna go back to that row right here. And that's gonna be my next row. And I'll start going down from there. So I'm gonna go with um get that little notch on the back, so I'm gonna have to break out one of these oh yeah and by the way there is foam on the bottom so if it touches the bottom still got protection and foam on the top when you close the case of course all right so now that we have the big piece cut out let's put it back in here and let's see how our unit will fit in so the next thing is um got a little knob cut out in the little back piece or um I guess wires or whatever would go that your power cord would hold on to 
got that cut out. Now you could actually take a knife and cut this and make it a perfect fit. Like if you wanted it to be curved like the front, I don't have to have it perfect like that as long as it's not moving. Um, I like to keep a little pressure on it. The other thing is I'm gonna take some of these pieces, probably a row of these, and put them on the side to build up in here so it won't sit so deep down and it'll be easier to get out. So that's what it looks like when you break off little rows. You could do it thicker. I'm gonna see how thick I want it first. And if I need it thicker, then I'll get a bigger piece. So I ended up trying it with doubling up and I think that was a little too thick. So I just went with one row of padding underneath. Got my little cutouts. And we'll just sit this in here. and they're pretty good and then we'll cut everything else out and place it in here as well and when you finish this is what I have a place for uh, all parts of my uh, little lapel wireless AKG system so I guess you can see I've got all my cases here I use these pretty regularly even got one for a Christmas gift for my uh, uh, dual wireless system I have. So uh, this case obviously holds a little bit more. I'll put a link in the description, but. Uh, these case magnet cases are pretty neat. Uh, nice way to keep your equipment organized and from getting damaged. Not too expensive. Again, I'll put the links for Amazon on there. I'm George the DJ, and as always, thanks for watching.